Yes, hi, hello, greetings and welcome to Rigid Audio Interference. So this is it and the goal of this video is to yeah, basically show you every smallest detail, every button, every function and basically what you can achieve and do with interference. So I guess we start, we start with an init preset so that everything is uh, yeah, set to set to normal and to the left you have your four loop engines a b c d and to the right you have e f g h which is the drum percussion and noise section so what do you what you basically do in interference is you combine loops and drums to get some cool sounding presets so you have those uh, tone menus over here with a lot of different loops as you can see atmosphere ambience bass let's choose a nice bass or something okay you can't see my fingers on the keyboard playing now we can okay and well then you might uh, you can keep adding things Let's choose an up for B. No, that sounds a bit weird. Let's try it with a key split. Yep, that's a bit better. Maybe that's not the right loop. Let's choose a different one randomly. Yeah, that's quite cool. So with the key split enabled, you see that there's a little... Uh, little line dividing those parts a b c d and you see that you have a on the left and the other layers are to the right i don't know if you can see that this is cool this is the arpeggiator so it's basically showing you what it's playing position for now. Now that's a cool set of loops. Let's try a different one. Yeah, that's quite cool. What else we got? Let's see. That's cool. Let's fit out some low frequencies for the right section of the keyboard. For the key split. Let's add some delay and reverb. Yeah, that's not quite perfect for the arpeggiator. Maybe we should choose something else. 
Let's see. Yeah, that could work. That's quite cool. So let's add some drums. Let's automate the reverb. Yeah, maybe like here. So that's cool. Let's enable the step weight feature so that kind of doubles the length of the modulation pattern for the reverb send G in that case. Oh, by the way, on top of each of those uh, modulation tablets, you have these quick overview pages where you can quickly see if there is something in it, or in other words, something is modulating. Uh, for example, in the low pass filter, I can do something like this. And then you see it lits up. Yeah. Let's add some disturb effect. Which is really cool. Mm -hmm. 